Good Monday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. High pressure sitting across the Alcan border this afternoon at 1,040 millibars, but we have low pressure on the south side of that. Uh, one area is sitting very close to Haida Gwaii, creating light snow for places like Ketchikan and Metlakatla in the southern inner channels, and some higher winds around the Juneau area. Uh, for Juneau, a high wind warning in effect until 9 o'clock this evening. Gusts there could reach over 60 to 70 miles per hour. Already been some pretty strong gusts in the region. Uh, for the snow, to the south, a winter weather advisory also in effect until 9 o'clock this evening for Metlakatla and Ketchikan and the southern inner channels. A little bit farther out to the west and south, a 988 millibar low sitting across the western gulf. Uh, these two areas will be working northward over the course of the next few days, combining with cold air dropping southward. We can see that across the Arctic coast this afternoon. Moving into the Brooks Range and the Arctic coast uh, tonight with areas of snow, mainly from Barrow and eastward and into the Brooks Range southward. West of that, uh, into the Seward Peninsula and the Nulato Hills, probably looking at just a scattering of snow showers. Uh, as you look out toward the west, blowing and drifting snow is possible over the ice edge, but high pressure starts to take command of the weather situation across the central and western parts of the Bering Sea at 1,038 millibars. Expect plenty of fog with that. North and easterly winds will continue across the central and eastern Aleutians in the Alaskan Peninsula with scattered snow showers possible there tomorrow. Accumulations, if any, should be pretty light. And low pressure starts to work its way northward across the Gulf. A frontal boundary at first will keep that progression rather slow and focus a better chance for snow across the central and southern parts of southeast. With rain from Haida Gwaii eastward, it looks like cold enough air will be working its way across the northern parts of southeast to keep wind chill values down, especially around the Haines and Taya Inlet areas. Wind chill advisories there have been posted. Those will go into the week. Low pressure sitting across the northern parts of the Gulf at 984 millibars on Wednesday will help to drag even colder air across the western and southwestern parts of Alaska. That, combined with moisture working northward into Prince William Sound, will likely create a better chance for snow showers as we go into the mid part of the week. We'll be watching to see any impacts if they develop around the Cook Inlet region and the Kenai Peninsula, as well as the Matanuska Sitna Valleys going ahead. Low pressure also working across the Arctic coast will create areas of fog and flurries as we go ahead into Wednesday night. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder. You can get your latest forecast, radar, and satellite imagery anytime online at weather.gov.